Alcohol markers are the coolest thing on the planet, but they're very expensive. And for a long time, Copic have been the, you know, a little, a little bit too, a little bit too big for their boots, a little bit up on their high heels. Let's say you want to get started using alcohol markers. 12 pack of Copics is uh, $125, and that's just some basic primary colors. The 36 pack, which is $400, do you feel like to be able to make cooler art, clearly you need all the colors, right? So in my obsessive collectiveness of alcohol markers over the years, I've bought three 72 packs and they run for $740 each. Woo. Add to that the Copic Wides and their multi-liners and you're looking at over $2,500. That's stupid. But it's very, it's, it was not a good investment, I'm gonna be honest. But I've got them now, and I've made a lot of cool stuff with them over the years, but I've also experienced a lot of other stuff over the years, and I have also very recently made my Pro Artist Collection with everything you need to make pro stuff curated by me. So get your pre-orders in, it's gonna be made to order, deliveries happen in like June, July. And there is this many days, there's a countdown clock, this is what it's at when I'm recording the video. If you go to the website, it's gonna be lower than that. Go to the website, check it out, it's lower than that. You're running out of time, you're running out of time! It's very dramatic. And what more fun and currently relevant way to show off our art supplies than with our friend Spidey. He's depicted through many mediums and illustrations and in many costumes and many forms. He's timeless. My son just asked me yesterday to watch Into the Spider-Verse. And I grew up absolutely loving him. And at the end of the day, alcohol markers are astoundingly suited to a comic book style of illustration. So with my spidey sketch in place, it's time to chuck in the line work and make it nice and sharp. With all the baseline work done with just a 0.3 fine liner, I then varied through a much thinner 0.05 to get the web textures without them being overbearing, and then at the end switch to my brush pen. Oh, I love this brush pen. It's my favorite brush pen because I can get really delicate, fine and detailed lines while still having all that control and go nice and thick and dark. And we need to get stuck into our expensive markers first. Copic markers. And before diving into using the Copics on the paper, I thought I'd experiment in a new way. I haven't done this before, but I laid down a transparent plastic sheet over my piece of paper. And using this, I sort of sketched out the colors using my Copics. Originally, as you can see in my sketch, after just sort of roughly blocking where the red and blue might go, I wanted to play with the idea of the light and shadow being some interesting colors. And I started off with some yellows for the highlights and blue for all the shadows. But I thought, you know what? I do that a lot. I tend to do sort of cool shadows, and yellow highlights. I thought I might do something a little bit different this time and go a little bit more of a sharper pink highlight and more of a purple shadow. Both of which I think would play really interestingly off of the red and the blue of Spider-Man. At the end of the day, I wanna stretch these mediums as far as I can and get some really interesting results. And one that's gonna compare directly and interestingly in the two ways that I'm applying them, cheap and expensive. And it's messy and muddy, but I think it works pretty well to give me a bit of confidence heading in that direction. But before I put the markers onto the the illustration paper, I have a scrap bit of paper that I muck around with some different color combinations. Now the advantage to having so many colors available is I can just spend my time color matching and finding the right tones that suit each other to get some more interesting nuanced blends. Finding the hotter pinks and how they might blend with the mid reds and then further into the deep purple shadows. And with my colors picked, it's time to give Spidey some color. All the different sections, I start with the lighter pink highlight, basically color in all the red areas and then slowly add the purple. And often, as you can see, I'm adding purple with blue because, well, blue and red <laughs> make purple. And then for the darkest areas, I go in specifically with a dark blue and then go in and further blend the red. Sometimes I use a purple marker, but a lot of the time actually mixing the red and blue creates that really dark purple shadow and I don't have to do much more work than that. Same goes with all the blue areas. Wherever I color in the blue of the Spider-Man suit, start off with a pink highlight, blend from the light to the dark blue, and then I move in with the purples and blend back to the blue.
The trick with alcohol markers is to build up contrast and get the blends looking as smooth as you can. And you do that by going back and forth and then also being as daring as you can stomach going into the darker areas and shadows. And also keeping the lighter, brighter areas fairly free from color. Overall, I'm getting a really nice look here and then I go in just for the final details. Some of the areas that I haven't colored in, obviously I've done all the blue and red areas. And then we have the web shooters and the backpack. I'm pretty happy with the outcome. It's very vibrant. The pinks are very strong. I am a little un happy about the blend in some places, but it is what it is. And the tricky thing about alcohol markers is you have to be a little careful and it takes a deft hand, but I like the results. And I think it shows off what you can do if you're getting a little ambitious with color. So it's time to color in Spidey with my pro artist collection, within which is contained 24 professional grade alcohol markers, brush tip and bullet tip, 20 pieces of the paper that I made this illustration on, of course, and 20 artworks that are fully illustrated of some of my personal favorite artworks so you can practice your coloring in. Then of course the pencils, the eraser, and the art liners ranging from 0.05 in the fine liners all the way to a 0.8 and then the amazing brush pen I can't stop gushing about. And last but not least, a set of 24 artist pencils. All of this formulated and color balanced to work together to give you the absolute best opportunity to create professional quality, but affordably produced art. I'm so proud this pack has over $200 worth of art supplies and we're providing it for only $99.95. Once again, the link's in the description. Get one before they run out. And I'm hoping to show off how professional the results are that you can achieve with this kit. So for the marker blends. Now, like I sort of did before, I have a light pink, almost fleshy tone that I use in the highlights and move into the reds and then start adding shadows in those red areas with the different blue colors, then blend back in once again with the reds. And it works just as well to sort of bring in those purple shadows throughout the red of Spider-Man. And of course, in the reverse, going through the blues and then mixing in and blending in the purples and then back again. Now I totally understand the want to have all the markers. I mean, at the end of the day, I started trying to do that with Copix, but I actually hit just that paywall of like, okay, I got three of those 72 packs. It was very expensive and I wasn't feeling like I was getting all that much with each new 72 pack I got. So I didn't feel like I really wanted to finish my collection. Even though at the very beginning, I felt like a completionist. I had to get the whole amount. In the end, it felt way too expensive for what I was actually getting for it. And the more I used and became familiar with Copix, the more I realized that the subtlety and nuance you can actually achieve through the right mix of colors. And you sort of understand that actually having every color is a little bit more of a flex than a necessity. But as you can see here, with the 24 markers that I've formulated, I can create some really cool blends, really nice punchy contrast, and then I can get so much more out of that with the next step, specifically the pencil. I love working with pencils on top of a marker illustration, specifically because this is where I can add nuance to the nth degree. Subtly shading in the blues and the sharper pinks or highlights, the dark purples and the shadows. Working in the reds into the blues to bring in that punch. Shading with some black where I need extra contrast. And working those pinks and purples into other areas of the costume like the spider, the backpack and so on. And actually the mixed textures of both the markers and the pencils blends to create a really nice effect. All in all, I love how this piece has turned out. And as you can see, the effect is astoundingly professional, if I do say so myself, which I think proves that you don't need every color or the most expensive art supplies to do incredibly professional artworks. You just need the right art supplies, the right colors. And here is my 
I mean, you could call him Budget Spider-Man, but he doesn't look like Budget Spider-Man. This is a really, really good outcome. So there were minor limitations that I was hitting with colors that actually I could overcome quite substantially with my 24 color pencils. And by using those two together, I could achieve a really high level of professionalism and contrast. Now, obviously I'm gonna have more options and a better outcome in general when I'm using hundreds of alcohol markers. But it's also worth pointing out when it comes to expandability, if I want a full collection of Copic markers, it's gonna cost me over $2,800 to complete my Copic marker collection. For the entire collection of Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers, which I've shown off just 24 of which in this video, it's barely gonna cost you over $800. So that is a fraction of the price for all of the utility and quality. That's a big dive to make. You have to know you like it to make even an $850 dive. Which is why I can definitely say the best place to start is right here. By the time you see this video, time will be fast running out. There's less than a week. And you can get it for $99.95. Soon you won't be able to. In short, you can get pro results with the right selection. Thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you to everyone who has gotten the J-Pack and supported this channel. I've enjoyed seeing what you guys have created and I can't wait to see your artistic journeys continue. But in the meantime, I will see you in the continuation of my artistic journey here on this channel. Subscribe for more and until next time, I'll see you later.